feel like I walked in on something there. He put me in the big seat. Say hi, it's been a while. What do you got? Supper? Morning guys, um, I'm out of coffee and uh, that was a bit of a panic at 4.30 this morning when I was trying to edit a video. Anyways, I um, slipped into town and got breakfast for the Brock clan. They're not hard to please, thankfully. How was it? Excelsior. <laughs> all right guys, the moment you've all been waiting for, I am back in the barn today. We have chores. I'm actually looking forward to seeing my woolly friends. It's been a bit. Hello children. That's my girl. Hello princess. Hello. Who's Maddie? Maddie. How dare you are. I'm sorry I didn't see you. Getting uh, real close to weaning time, and we ran out of creek yesterday. So uh, we are, we do have a load coming first thing tomorrow morning. But just to get us through to make sure they don't run out, uh, I'm just feeding them what they're going to get across the road. And the reason why I don't want them to run out is if they run out tomorrow, they will gorge, and there's a good chance that they can uh, get grain overload and die. So we never, ever, ever let these guys let these feeders go completely empty because it's bad news.
we got Jack on the tractor actually this morning. So he's down uh, just prepping a field for some soybeans for Mark down the road. And uh, he just called and wondered if I could grab the loader here and uh, just push a couple limbs, big limbs that are down and in his way. We are officially started soybeans. How many acres do you have done? 20, almost 20 acres. 19 and a half. Yep. And we're going about the same speed as the corn planter, right? Yeah, the ground's just really hard. And I'm just trying to get it uh, to get in the ground. So if you go too fast, you just get too much chatter on the row unit, and then it doesn't stay in the ground against the ground as well so we're still doing five and a half miles an hour almost it just feels slow i guess i've been in soil management and we go a little bit faster yes this is a hundred and how many acres 73 oh 173 acre field we've actually this year we have um put fields together to make them bigger, have Yeah, we? so we have, this is our biggest field, it's 173. I put another two farms together, it's 155, and then I put across the row and two farms together, and it's 146, I think. Yeah, so much so bigger. Yeah, just once you move there, it's a lot more efficient, especially for harvest. Right. You guys, you put me in the big seat. Like the big seat in the big tractor, on the seed drill, very scared. So I've made it a, I've made it one full round, no problems. So uh, I'm, I'm building up my confidence. After about three or four rounds, I'll be okay. But right now, I'm just like, I got my team, I got my podcasts on, and I'm just like focused. And then I'll take out my phone and go on Instagram or something. We filled this up. This is a sweet little rig. We had a John Deere no-till drill before this one, and we'd have to fill it up a lot. This sucker holds two and a half pro boxes, so we can go, I think, 70 acres before we have to refill it, and I'm pretty sure that drill was maybe half that. So um, it might not be very wide, and we're kind of feels like we're going slow, but because we don't have to stop and fold up and go back to the farm every 35, 40 acres or whatever it was, um, we're ga we're, we are gaining a lot of time. So that's pretty sweet. Anyway, I'm trying to think if there's anything else new. It was really nice to be back in the barn this morning. I had no idea I was actually going to be doing the planting. Uh, but Mark wants to get started on all the spraying now that the corn's in the ground. So, yeah. That's the update. These are really long rounds, so you guys are stuck with me when I get tired, which is like every other round.
it uh, decided to rain, so we're on a crop tour. Is that my little corny? It's got a little root. How cute. That was planted. I just uploaded that video. Thursday? Wednesday? Wednesday. Wednesday. Yeah. <laughs> we lose all track of day and time. We are really tired today, so we're really happy we got some rain. Half an inch we've got so far? Um, and gentle, not crazy. It was yeah. thunderstorming at four, FYI. The moisture's met. The moisture's met. Perfect. This is the field I planted Friday. I was here all day and uh, I cannot believe the difference in moisture, but we are putting some rain gauges at the farms that are farthest away from home just to uh, see the difference in moisture. And this will be part of our crop tour trail. We go and check all the different rain gauges at the different farms. It's mucky. Far cry from the other day. She was a cloud of dust. Like I walked in on something there. Wow, oh, I bent it a while ago. I just you were afraid to bend it back. Fixing your sin, and your wife went and puts it on YouTube. Don't try this at home, folks. I'm a semi-amateur -am professional. If they only knew how much stuff we fixed with, like rebending, tarp straps, excavators, forklifts, forklifts. <laughs> I'm not uh, the only one that breaks stuff, I'm, eh? I'm pretty good at straightening things out after I unstraighten them. You just don't like having an audience. No, preferably not. How much was actually left in it? Uh... Like... Coffee can worth of stuff. Oh, really? Yeah. You actually ran it that dry last yeah, night? Yeah, it was just probably ready to say I'm empty when I quit. Perfect. Mark got rained out last night. He had, uh, how many acres do you think you have left? He has part of a headland, 30 acres left. Will you go back to that field as soon as it's dry enough to finish it? And he's gonna put a different uh, variety in to do a comparison, I think he said. Do I have that story right? Yes, you listen <laughs> I just spent some time in the barn and realized that we are only three weeks until our next lambing group and I'm stressing out a bit because there's a lot of work between now and then and Mark also needs me. So it's hard to insert the things I need done on certain dates because it's all weather depending on field work. So we're trying to uh, figure out our schedules. I know my schedule. Yeah, exactly. Whatever Mother Nature tells you it is. She is the boss. That's how much I had left over. That's it, eh? That's pretty good. Well, when you plan like I do. Right. How tired are you today? I'm exhausted. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. I have zero energy. I think both you and I hit a wall. Uh, Epic. Not very exciting. <coughs> not very exciting. Luz, where's your friend? Where's your friend? Where is it? Let's get it. Where is it? Where'd you put it? Where is it? Oh, what do you got? What do you got? Supper? 
Beauty. We are moving just out again. So tan. <laughs> Taking her to her house in Guelph tonight because it's our first rainy day. We promised her the first rainy day we would move her back out of the house. Yay, moving! So At least it's painted. We did that a couple weeks ago, which is good. Did That's... you show them the before and after? No, I don't think I did. Insert now. There. Quickly, we just did that. Well, we're all business. Look at the bed. Mm hmm. I like the bedding. I like that color. Mm -hmm. This is my kitchen. But this is basement. This is the basement dwellers. Hmm. Oh, our nice. So we have a little problem. Our trailer light stopped working. So Jack has met us halfway home. Can't reach? To see if we can get these trailer lights working. I <laughs> can't reach. Doesn't reach. Try it. Oh no. no. So we have to unhook? Yeah. Oh, I just want to go home. Our electrical engineer should have been able to figure that out. He's tired. <laughs> As we all are. Morning guys, it is uh, Tuesday. I'll have to check to confirm, but I'm pretty sure we have made it an entire year, real darn close, uh, before needing a clean out. And look how dry and decent it still is. The winter definitely builds up a little more than this time of year, but this time of year when I can open it up, have my um, these airbags going, it's pretty amazing actually, the air. So. Uh, today I want to clean this side out. I have been dying to do this, but I've been in the fields um, So the only time I can do it is when it rains. The problem is I'm taking the manure just outside I have a pile just outside in the field and if the field's too wet I still can't get out there with the tractor to stockpile the manure. So uh, I think it's dried off enough We had rain yesterday, so it's dried off enough I think this morning that I'm just gonna take some time and tear everything down out of this pen and then I'm able to um, start taking manure out of here and just stockpiling it outside. It should not be this hard. I should just be able to wake up in the morning and do a job, but everything has logistics behind it. I'm taking advantage of today. I have nothing on the agenda. Mark doesn't need me today, and uh, he per perhaps might need me tomorrow, just depending on what the air does today.
surprisingly that didn't take as long as I thought it was going to be and it wasn't as deep as I thought. So now I'm wondering was it actually a year or did I clean this barn out twice last year? So I'd have to, I really have to go back and check. I can never remember. But this barn is really nice for that. I don't have to clean the pack out much because we can keep the top really dry. I'd like to move over to the bottle babies on Thursday. I'm gonna ship the lambs that Carissa weighed yesterday. There's, I think, 13. I really wanna bring over the bottle babies on Thursday morning while the trailer's still hooked up and put them in this pen, get them used to everything, get them used to the water. And then when I bring in the big group, probably the week after, um, the bottle babies will kind of train the bigger ones on how to use the water bowls. I find that that helps a lot when I have enough bottle babies to do that. It's been a while. You're very cute. <laughs> <laughs> 